Which choice completes the text so that it conforms to the conventions of standard English? Gathering accurate data on water flow in the United States is challenging because of the country's millions of miles of blink. The volume and speed of water at any given location can vary drastically over time. So a key point here is that there are two coordinated noun phrases, the first being the country's millions of miles of waterways, and the second being, and the fact. So when there's two coordinated noun phrases like this, no punctuation is needed because that would interrupt the flow of the passage. So choice A says waterways and the fact that, comma. This is incorrect because as before, no punctuation is needed, and generally commas don't appear after that. So A is incorrect. B. Waterways, comma, and the fact that, comma. This is incorrect because as before, no punctuation is needed, and these comma placements don't logically make sense. So B is incorrect. C. Waterways, comma, and, comma, the fact that. This is incorrect because the commas before and after and don't make sense, and that no punctuation is needed because it would interrupt the flow of the passage. So C is incorrect. D. Waterways and the fact that. No punctuation. So th this seems to be correct because there's no need for punctuation here, as that would interrupt the flow of the passage, and because these are two coordinated noun phrases. So D is the correct answer.